So you guys were aware of the legacy of the show before you got your roles. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably like the best job I've ever gotten for my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was, this was like, I think when I, te when I told her I was testing for it, she was like, you're kidding. Dallas? Dallas? Like, I was surprised Dallas? when I heard that they were, the, they were remaking it. It's yeah. kind of cool. I mean, I watched it when I was, you know, a kid and stuff. And uh, well, it's great that there it's a continuation and it's not a remake because remakes can really blow. So yeah. <laughs> well, it's good that they've got the three main cogs in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's that's that was huge to, yeah. to bring them back. And um, it's funny because I don't know if you watch, if you've seen any of the blooper reels on YouTube, the old ones. Yes. Do they still do swearing. that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So good. They're great. And did you see? There's one with Linda with all the all the. Was all the drinking that does? And it's just, it's yeah. There's some good stuff. At some point, Josh yeah. was like, "We don't have a good blooper reel yet. We better start doing some crazy shit." And I was yeah. like, "Josh, I think it's too late because it was like the last." It's hard to want to waste their time, though. You know, well, no, I think. On set, well, for so. us, it was more like we don't want to mess up. Like we don't want to like yeah. like piss anyone off. I mean, this is their show. This is Linda's and Larry's and Patrick's show, and we're just like lucky to be there. So we yeah. just really wanted to do. The best job we possibly could. I mean, next year it's all next out. Year, next year, next year. Yeah. If we come back, we're we're we're, 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 we're so we start. So yeah. this year, there's a lot more of them, and they're introducing you. Is that? No, no. There's a lot of everybody, and and and, and, and it's a very equal equal amount of everything. Um, but I'm saying, like, we as actors, we wanted to, you know, be on our best behavior. You, you know? know what I liked about this uh, new series or the continuance is. You know, the old Dallas was really white men in control, and now I, two Latinas are being introduced into the characters, which is more probably realistic for living in Texas. Right. So do, was that, you know, something they thought of, do you think? Well, or? I'm the Spanish one, but I've played the All-American, as okay. always, so I don't play so, Spanish. <laughs> and I'm Brazilian, but um, oh. I play an American-Mexican character. But Cynthia's Cuban, and I think that's... You know, I think that, that may have been have, have had something to do with it, and I think it's also just reflective of, of the U.S. now. Right, right, right exactly. It's modern so times. It great. It's I Dallas it twenty great. years later. It's Dallas twenty twelve. So we have to. We're pretty much touching on every topic that's relatable now. So. That's the thing. At one point, Dallas kind of defined the U.S. like around the world. It's sad, as, you know what I mean? Like the glamour. Oh, yeah. and whatever. How do you feel about that? Taking on that whole role of being the new generation of this. Oh, glamour, you know, you are glamorous, you're beautiful women, you know, but how do you, you bring it into the current times? Um, well, we tried to stay away when we were working with um, our costume designer, Rachel. We were like, no shoulder pads, no secrets. If there was Dynasty. anything that like fell <laughs> on the 280s, even if it was like uh, now, because 80s were kind of back a couple of months ago, we were like, absolutely not, like, yeah. you cannot do that. <laughs> and tame it down, tell, um, you bring it down, even the hair and the makeup. The hair yeah. had to be really, yeah. really current. Yeah, it's modern times, and I think it's very, like you said, it's a worldwide thing, and it's like, you know, if you, I, I, was in, I was in Europe not long ago, and the one thing somebody knew about Texas was like, oh yeah, JR, and it's like, wow, that's Still. so yeah. crazy, and, but yeah, you have to be very careful not to, to you, we walk a thin line between a lot of a lot of things. But setting trends is fun. Like some like shows like Gossip Girl, you know, yeah. when like a bag becomes popular because one of the characters wears it. It's, it's sure. that's fun. So if, if our show takes off in that way, that would be awesome. That would be fun. Did okay. you have to learn to uh, horseback ride? Uh, Linda Gray Good horseback question. rode in uh, a lot in Dallas, mm -hmm. and so did um, Bobby Newman's wife. Um, did you guys have to learn yeah. to horseback ride? We didn't have to. We didn't have to. We. I didn't. I don't. I don't the ride. boys ride more horses and take their shirts off more than yeah. we do, which we were grateful for. Um, we get the juicy part. No, yeah. um, I actually had to shoot guns, so that was okay. fun. Nice. Yeah, That's I had cool. to get comfortable with a rifle. I'm like, when do you ever hear that? <laughs> and then one of you, uh, um, since I just walked in, uh, Jordana. Uh, Jordana. Okay, so you are the housekeeper, the cook's daughter. So there's cook's a triangle there yes. between Christopher and so that, and then so you're married to mm -hmm. Christopher. So yes. that's going to be very. I can't wait because that's going to be a really interesting, be yeah. you know, little triangle there. And, and Linda Gray was always her character was always flirting with uh, Bobby because I think she always sort of wanted to. Do it. I, I did watch the original. That would be a really good <laughs> twist. <laughs> he just wanted. He, he just wanted Bobby to get her uh, out of the sanitarium every time wow, Jr. put her in there. That's true. And, and and also just to touch her because Jr. wouldn't touch her. He was touching everyone else. I know that was really sad. <laughs> you know what I liked the episode where he does try to touch her and then she rejects him. Which I probably got strong. That. Did she get? She was probably sober. <laughs> she. 
Yeah, and I think she was also with someone else at that point. I was using another word in my head, and I and I edited myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of sound of the older episodes just to get a sense of you know, we did. the history of it. And also to have fun, because to watch Sue Ellen and and, right. and then talk to Linda the next day yeah. and gossip about all her Oh, yeah, or even Patrick. We, we made fun of Patrick so much for the disco dancing. The disco oh, episode. Oh my god, his <laughs> dancing was. I, I still think we still make fun of him, but but it's, it's nice to just be able to to have such a history to be working with these characters now and then, but look back at their history and where they came from. You know, because I mean, our characters are new, right. so we don't really have a frame of reference. You know, going back to the original, so it's it's fun to create something new and fresh for the audience, but also kind of cool to like How see where they came from. To work in the Dallas heat last year. We luckily shot in the fall. Oh, good. Oh, so we didn't have to sweat. I think back. that's a, a, a Patrick, Larry, Linda. No summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. a big, like, no. We're going to do this. We're going to do this right. So we're shooting entirely in Dallas and not in the summer. Oh, I think that's so great that you're actually filming right on location. Everything is in Dallas. Yeah, yeah we have our stages no. there, and we shoot all exterior in the South Fork Ranch.